What's good, everybody? It's your girl, Moby the Name. Thank you for tuning in. On this video, we're going to be talking about the 10 things that you need to start recording. So here we go. Yo, yo, she make it move like water. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So first off, I'm going to need you to get some confidence. Confidence in, in knowing that you got this in the bag. Don't be sweating. If you all confused, that's cool, you know. I know you need equipment. I need equipment. We all need equipment. But I'm going to show you some of the best equipment at the lowest prices to go snatch because I went and snatched it, okay? So just calm down and just know you got this. We're going to walk through this together, all right? Here we go. Right off back, I'm going to need you to get a condenser mic. It's a condenser microphone. Please don't go get the dynamic microphones and start recording on it unless – you know, that's your cup of tea. But condenser mics are good for vocals. They're good for a lot of things, capturing pianos and everything, man. So, But this is the MXL. I think this is the 990. I think I am on the 770 right now. But the 990 is good. The 770 is good. I, I own both of them, and I love them. They capture my voice. I got a deep voice, and they got a big diaphragm inside it. And it really caught all that low end frequency that I needed to catch. It's a good mic, and for the price, it's a damn good mic, ninety nine dollars, and that's as cheap as you gonna get like with professional microphones, it's around a hundred bucks. So look into the MXL, all right, and make sure that your microphone come with a shock mount because you know when you moving your feet and you may bump into the um hole or anything the stand the microphone stand it'll kind of give you leeway on that a little bit so get you a shock mount and get your condenser mic okay once you got your condenser mic if you're singing your melody into the, the microphone right now it has nowhere to go so you're gonna need what you call a xlr cable and then it's about 10 bucks and you can find them on amazon or you can find deals on them but get you like a 10 foot xlr cable all right, that's a good size cable. You can get them longer, however long you want to get them, but this is a good way to start. And this part is called a female, and this is a male, and you can see why. It's inward on the female, it's outward on the male, and we'll get into terminology later. But the female part goes usually on the microphone, and you see my arrow going towards this way, but I'm going to work it backwards so we can really understand. Okay, now you want to get what you call an interface. An interface stands between your microphone, and your computer. It's what's going to carry that sound into your computer, okay? And then you can see right here the input, the XLR cable goes right here, all right? And these other little functions, we'll get into those a little later, but just know you need an interface. It don't have to be this one, but I would prefer it to be this one because the Focusrite comes with a free DAW, and I'm going to get into DAWs right now. The DAW has to agree with your computer okay make sure when you get a computer i didn't put this in the budget because i'm assuming that you have a computer but if you don't make sure that your computer specs are up to date with what your daw requires and i'm saying daw because your daw is your digital audio workstation all right and the daw it doesn't matter what daw you get reason studio one ableton live Fruity Loops, Pro Tools, Cubase, Logic, it doesn't matter. Just know that you have to know how to use your DAW and you have to know your DAW requirements so that it will agree with your computer. Because if your DAW doesn't agree with your computer, it don't give a fuck. It will download on your computer and it'll slow that shit down. It'll slow your shit down. Like on a, just think of it as an app. A DAW is an app on your phone but the apps will let us know before we even try to download it hey you don't have enough space on there hey you don't have enough this on there computers you hey i want to download it. okay then you don't really have enough space but fuck it we gonna go ahead and download it anyway and then your shit crash so make sure that both of those are playing together make sure both of those are playing together nice the shit gotta go like bread and motherfucking butter all right you're going to be mad in a bitch, I promise. Anyway, we got that out the way. Your microphone, you done song melodies into it, going through your XLR, went through your interface, onto your computer where you have your DAW, right? 
Then you need something simple like a mic stand. I found one for 19 bucks for y'all. So that's the same mic stand I've been using forever. It's called a boom stand. It has a little tripod at the end. Keep everything balanced real nice. Put that down there under your microphone. We're going to go on over to the pop filter. Now, these run around $7 everywhere to $15 to $20. It depends on what you want. They have like wired. Uh, some of them be wired. And some of them feel like a cloth, like a um, a lady's stocking or knee, knee high or something like that. So it stops all our P's and our S's and our T's. So, you know, all our sipping on some scissor and all that crazy shit we be doing. It stop all that. So invest in the pop filter, you feel me? Okay, we're going to put our pop filter down now. Next up, we got our over-the-ear ear, earphones. Make sure they over-the-ear because you might want to mix on it one day. So, And usually you are going to mix on it starting off. Cause I, and these are the same ones that I use. I, I mixed on them, Audio Technicas, and they was 30 bucks. So I don't have them anymore, but they were some nice headphones, and they lasted for a long damn time. And when you buy these headphones, make sure it come with an adapter. And if it don't, then go buy that bitch. It's about $2.00 three dollars so get you some headphones with an adapter because you're gonna need them your headphones are going to plug into your interface right there the regular headphone jack will not fit in there that's why you'll need an adapter or headphones that already have that adapter attached to them and these are essentially the only eight things you need to start recording like you can get the ball jumping right the fuck now with these eight things i know i said ten things right I ain't letting y'all down. I'm just letting you know that the eight things right here is all you need to start recording. But if you want to go forward and get these other two things, it's optional, but I advise it. Highly I advise it. Your studio monitors. They call them studio monitors. We call them bitches speakers. Okay? But to run these speakers, you're going to have to upgrade your goddamn game, man. Eh? You're going to have to change out your interface because that little ass interface at first, it wasn't going to do the job. No little bitty interface can do the job like that, you know, not running these down speakers they want. So you probably looking at it saying it looked like the one before. Yeah, it do look like the one before. But look at the back of it. The back of it, your line outputs, your right and left line outputs are the red and white outputs that we saw when we was growing up with the RCA cable right there. Plus, this bitch right here is $99. It's nice to start off with. That's cool. There go the cables that it come, you know, not probably not come with, but that you'll need. This is the bigger one. The bigger one is, of course, you know, going to come at a higher price, one forty nine. And then look at the line outputs. The right and the left come with these bigger holes. Now these bigger holes going to require a quarter inch. It's called a quarter inch cable. Now these run about twelve bucks or so. So give or take you'll need two of them okay and once you get them all together you can plug your speakers in with this because you'll have your quarter inches and you'll have your interface that accepts your quarter inches and your speakers that accept other end of the quarter inch you feel what i'm saying you feel my drift do you feel my drift all right here go a little bonus man it gets cheaper so for all you goddamn cheap skates that don't give a fuck i got you a lot of people ain't gonna tell you this but i got you they got what we call a USB condenser mic, right? And it's, it bypasses the need of having an interface so you don't even need it. This motherfucker will plug up right to your goddamn computer. No interface required. So you can cancel out that hundred something dollars for that. This mic, I think it's around like $70 or something. I used to have this bitch a long time ago, but it worked okay for me. And I still know some people who use it and it work okay with them i guess they some kind of houdinis or something like that because they get the job done i don't know how talented you are you feel me it has what we call fountain power built into this into this process of just putting it straight into your computer you have fountain power you don't know what fountain power is it's okay you, you don't have to know what it is right now just know that it's 48 volts and our interface give us that 48 volts we looking for so that we can power all our cool shit. You feel what I'm saying? All our high end shit. Okay. So you can you can do this. It's perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with it. 
but just know you ain't gonna pull no speakers out of it. So I highly advise that you get this set up instead of this set up. But this set up is perfectly fine to get started recording. All right? All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for sticking around to the end of this video. Every product that I feature in this video will be available in the description below. It will have a link next to it, so make sure you check out that and make sure you subscribe and thumbs up this video. Hope that I'm able to help you pick out some equipment for your first home studio.